Hello, pre-calculus students. Welcome to the lesson on continuous compounding. And I want to turn our attention to here to number eight. Okay. Um, Jim invests $1,000 with an interest of 5% compounded quarterly. Another bank offers to compound his interest continuously. In 10 years, how much money will Jim in have if he chooses the continuous compound? And the focus here is the continuous compound because this is compounded an infinite number of times. And so this is very difficult to do because we don't know how to solve a problem that involves a, a, a compound of an infinite number of times. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is uh, set this problem aside, do some work with uh, just theoretical, just pure con conceptual work here on continuous compounding, and then we'll get back to that problem in a future video. So let's talk about some generic cases, generic information here. We'll let P be the principal, the initial amount invested, R be the interest rate, T be the time, and we'll say it's in years. It doesn't really matter, but we'll just say in years. And then we'll say that A is the amount okay, after T years. Okay. And then we'll say that N is the number of times uh, compounded. So Building off of what we already have going on up here, we know that the amount that you have is equal to the principal times one plus the rate divided by the number of times it's compounded. Whoops, sorry. And it's gonna be raised to the nt. Because this is the number of years and this is the number of times you're compounding every single year, okay? But if you compound continuously, you have to take the limit as n approaches infinity. So a then becomes p times the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus r over n to the n t. Okay. And this is, um, I want to point out, this is something very significant here because most likely you've never done anything like this. You've never had a problem where you really had to deal with, sorry, where you really had to deal with cases of infinity. Okay? And, and again, this is not an easy problem to deal with. And, and nothing that involves infinity really ever is. Okay? So how do we get, and we can't, we need to find a way to, um, to eliminate the, the, the limit. In order to really have an equation that we can work with, that we can actually solve, um, you need to find some way to uh, eliminate the, Im the limit. Okay, so eliminate uh, the limit. And this is, again, very hard because we're not used to ever doing algebra that involves a limit and how to get rid of it. So I'm going to introduce a new concept here. So I'm going to create a new variable. And there's nothing wrong with this as long as my variable is well defined. So I'm going to say the variable is m and I'm gonna say that it's equal to n over r, okay? And there's nothing wrong with this because I know that n exists, it's non-zero, and r exists, it's also non-zero, okay? So this is fine, and I can also say that um, mr is equal to n, okay? Just multiplying both sides by r, okay? And now um, consider this with me, and then again, this is very weird math here. What happens as n approaches infinity, what happens to m? What does m approach? Well, because looking at this, this original equation, n and m are directly related. Or they vary directly. So as n gets bigger, m gets bigger. So as n goes towards infinity, m also goes towards infinity. 
And now, again, this is weird. Okay? So now we're going to rewrite this equation here, A, uh, using M. So A now is the limit, sorry, it's P, P hasn't changed at all, times the limit. And again, I'm going to rewrite everything in terms of M now. Instead of N approaching infinity, instead of N approaching infinity, I'm going to have M approach infinity. And this is uh, 1 plus R over N. But remember that N is just MR raised to the nth T power. But again, N is just MR. So this is MR to the T or MRT. And once again, I want you, I, I fully acknowledge this is highly unusual and weird. But watch what happens. Let's look at some, oh, let's, let's simplify this equation just a little bit. Uh, let's see, this is A equals P times the limit as M approaches infinity of one plus, R over MR is just one over M. This is MRT. But if you look at just this part right here, just this limit right here, every the part that, that has the letter M in it, limit as M approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over M over, or raise to the M, that's the definition of E. We used a different variable here, but the format is exactly the same. And so this whole part right here is equal to E. And what that allows us to do is to replace the limit with a single letter E. So A equals PE raised to the RT. And this is a beautiful equation because it allows us to deal with scenarios where we have to calculate something an infinite number of times. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very easy, and I know maybe in, in your previous classes you've seen this equation, or maybe your teachers just, just threw this equation and told you about it, and that's okay at that level. But once you get to pre-calculus, and as you get closer and closer to calculus, it is essential that you understand where these numbers and where these facts come from. Okay? And one thing that I want to point out here is that it is totally possible now to solve problems that involve an infinite number of calculations. Okay? So... Going back to the problem that we had before, and I'm going to let you finish this on your own, you can just, you can just figure out, you know, what's, ask yourself, like, what's P when it's, continuous com, com, when it's continuously compounded? You know it's A equals PE to the RT. And ask yourself, what's P in this case? What's R? What's T? And now you can actually solve and answer this equation fairly quickly, uh, provided you, you understand this entire process and how it works. And so uh, I can't emphasize this enough. This is a new method. It is very essential that you understand how all of this is working um, because it allows us to deal with situations where we have an infinite number of calculations. Okay? And it reduces it down to a very short, nice, and beautiful equation. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.